So this is day two in the Bahamas and we had our first meal this morning at the Starfish restaurant. So the omelet was really, really good. Um, I had the pancakes, horrible. And um, they also had waffles and I observed the lady that sat next to us who had the waffles and it was not good. So do not get the pancakes or the waffles. Definitely get the three egg omelet because it was awesome and then the potatoes was awesome. Um, that's about it so far. So we went to the grocery store and now we are going to attempt to get on a local bus to make our way downtown and check out what's going on downtown. We don't really have anything scheduled for today. Honestly, we only have one thing scheduled and that's tomorrow on Monday. Uh, I'm not really sure if I'm going to schedule anything on Tuesday, but this is a really quick short trip. This is our first time to the Bahamas. A lot of the comments and um, reviews and stuff that I read was really negative it is very expensive to eat that is absolutely true service is not that great in terms of they move slow and it's like they don't care and um hmm what else the resort that i'm staying at i absolutely love it it's it's you know beautiful there's a lot of places within walking distance for us to get stuff to eat um we really haven't done anything really but it's a really short trip and this is our first time to the Bahamas. So we're gonna head downtown in a minute and I'll try to capture some footage of downtown. See you downtown. All right guys, so we just made it downtown. We actually got a ride with the guy that took us to the grocery store this morning and we shared a taxi and it was actually just 10 bucks he said it's usually 35 dollars to come downtown on a taxi so that was really really great so we're downtown right now so guys i made a really big mistake on day two i went into this jewelry store because i saw this display outside which is actually not real and um so i just love panther jewelry and yeah i spent twelve hundred dollars for a ring i'm pretty sure i got ripped off and i'm not even sure if it's really real after that uh we walked around a little bit and i found this souvenir store where everything was five bucks they had an assortment of necklaces and bracelets and so basically i just bought like two magnets for my refrigerator after walking around for a little bit, we hopped on a bus, which is $1.50 right now, and we headed down to the fish fry, also called Arawak K in NASA. So this is um, one of the biggest and most extravagant fish fries in the Bahamas. So it's basically like a long strip of traditional sit-down restaurants um, and vendors I was told if I wanted authentic Bahamian food, I needed to come here. This is us walking in. I did not venture off to the right side. I went towards the left side. And so right at the entrance, there is a police station. And then on the right side of the road is where all the restaurants are. This is also at the entrance, a public restroom. So there are tons of eating options. I decided to eat at Joey's. Because uh, the menu was right outside and I wanted her to try like a conch dish because they have about eight different ways they prepare conch in the Bahamas. My son always gets the best tasting meal because he ordered a pasta dish and it was absolutely delicious. The pasta is very, very flavorful. Everything tastes like delicious. Now this here is what I got. I got um, a cracked conch burger, which is basically a fried conch. It looked like it was going to taste good, but um, it really didn't. <laughs> There's a lot of chewy spots inside of it, 
just kind of like concreters I really don't care for. Um, I don't really think I care for the cracked conks. There's some chewy chewiness to it. But my son's Alfredo is amazing. I was only able to eat half of my burger. Can you believe I paid 18 bucks for that? My son had a ton of pasta left over. Everything came up to about 45 bucks and that's including 15% gratuity which is always added automatically everywhere you eat in the Bahamas. So as we was walking out I did see a little booth on the side with coconuts and sugarcane and um, it was a bit pricey it was 10 bucks for some coconut water really so i also had the option to just get sugarcane juice or i could mix both which he called coco cane and it was absolutely delightful definitely check it out if you ever go to fish fry i would try the coco cane so this is us walking out And here is the guy. It's not even a booth. It's just like a little wooden shack with some coconuts and some sugar cane. And here it is. It was absolutely delicious. I sipped on it all the way home. We actually got a ride from this lady that wanted me okay. to do a timeshare and I kind of flaked out. <laughs> And so later that day, we went to the convenience store and my son wanted us to try out this orange chocolate. It's authentic British candy. This is us walking back to our room. And so essentially, this is like chocolate that is in the shape of an orange. And so you actually have to crack it. And then when you open it up, it's uh, orange slices. It actually has um, the flavor of orange. It's like orange infused chocolate. Honestly, it was not that good. I didn't really too care for it. But that's the end of my vlog, guys. I am going to post another video with some other conch dishes that I tried out. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next video.